Lower, you get too high. You see how high you are? Hit. Boom. Good. 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 I think everything's going good. I think we're on track um, where we need to be at this point. I really like the tempo of practice. Um, I think we are in a position to be very physically offensively, and that's one of our goals. Um, it's been our goal off season spring is to become just a little more physical. I think we are. Obviously, you can't tell at this point because we're not in pads, we're just in helmets, but I think when we're in position, we're in position to play faster and be more physical. Your, uh, your quarterback always gets a lot of the talk around town and, and a lot of the publicity. Uh, being a senior leader and a guy who, who leads this team, what does he bring to the field each day when he steps out there? Um, he brings everything that you want in a quarterback and a leader. Um, number one, he, he works as hard, if not harder, than anybody on this team. Um, it's extremely important to him. Uh, mentally, he prepares himself every day um, for practice to be as good as he can. He's taking coaching extremely well. Um, he's trying to do the things. He is very talented, hey, but he's also trying to do the things to make him a better football player um, and to make him a better player throughout the season. Um, and and he, he coordinates our offense very well. He has a very good understanding of, of where people need to be, um, when they're supposed to be there, and, and that's huge for us offensively. Uh, you got a position change with Xavier this year. Obviously, he went through the spring at the receiver position, slot position. He's got two practices under belt. How is he picking up the new position and, and the flow of his game? I think he's picking it up really well. Um, he, he's good at the things that, that we expect him to be good at and the reasons we moved him there. Um, he's got to continue to become a better receiver, um, but I think he's taking a lot of pride in that and improving that. It's just not natural for him. But him being as, as talented and, and naturally gifted, it's not that much. But there is a little bit of a learning curve. Um, but like I said, for what we're asking him to do, he's doing very well. But we're trying to make him the, the whole package to be able to do anything. It all starts up front. Everybody knows that. Uh, Travis usually hangs out with the offensive linemen down here. You, you, you sneak in every so often. Uh, as, as a big part of, the, of your side of the ball, uh, what, what have you seen from the offensive line with Jose and uh, Big Joe Graves and people like that? Well, first, like with Coach Michael, first, you know, Coach Michael and I have been together since 2007. I've got a lot of trust in him and what he does um, and, and the way he teaches those guys, not only technique wise, but how he motivates them is a huge part of what we do offensively. Um, I think, you know, we're going to be at least two deep. And I think we'll have, you know, probably 10 guys, if not more, that we'll feel real comfortable in playing. Um, that makes it, you know, good for us in the long haul um, to be able to play 10, 12 offensive linemen because we've got guys that get reps. Um, if somebody would happen to go down, we don't feel like we we'll just put another, we we'll just put another bullet in the chamber. Um, also, it keeps us fresh throughout games in the fourth quarter, which we refresh. And then, if you look in the long haul, of the season towards the end of conference play, we feel like we'll still be able to bring that physicality that we want to bring up front. You got that four-headed monster at running back. I mean, any one of those guys could carry the load. Uh, but the way y'all sub guys in and out, they're going to all get their carries. But what have you seen from, from your backs? If, if I was to say at this point, you know, obviously I deal a little bit more with the back end, but I think our running backs right now 
are, are doing really well. Um, they're practicing real hard. They're assignment-wise, they're, they're on task. Um, you know, I think they're in position again to play physical, which you know we, we get a lot of feedback about us our backs not being overly big. But if you watch them play, they're they're going to stick their head in there. Um, but that's also why we need all of them because they don't play like they're 180, 190 pounds. Them guys all play like they're 220 pounds, and that's why we love them and that's why they play for us. But I'm happy with where they are right now. Obviously, they need to progress. Um, but if they continue just to work as hard as they are, I mean, they give championship effort every day, all for them, and I'm, I'm happy. And they got some young guys in there too that, that are trying to do as well as them, and that's exciting. I know all summer long, everywhere Coach Roberts went, he kept praising the name Devontae Scott, Devontae Scott. Uh, are you seeing the same things that Coach Roberts saw in the offseason? Yeah, I, I mean, we saw in Devontae, you know, on his junior college film. Um, the thing about Devontae, he's got some skills that you really can't teach. Um, you know, he's got as good as hands as, as anybody I've coached. Um, he has the ability, to, you know, when he runs the football um, to not get tackled. You know, and that's something that we've seen as a staff, but we, because he wasn't quite 100 percent probably until the last game or two last year that everybody else was starting to recognize. But when you put those two qualities together with the great hands and the ability to run the football in our offense, that's, that's a huge asset for us. Well, it, it definitely feels good. Um, you know, this is what we love to do. Um, you know, it, it's going to take some time to get used to the routine, but, you know, meetings, that's a part of the process, and practice has been good, tempo's been good. I thought defense did a good job at uh, bringing the pace today, and then offense was forced to raise their level. So, you know, tomorrow when the pads come on, you know, we'll really see where we're at. And uh, every day it's just about getting better and uh, making sure that we're the best team that we see. Uh, both on the offense and on the defensive side of the ball. So you, you've taken a leadership role on the offensive line down yes, here. You're calling out, calling out numbers and plays and yes, stuff, or mm -hmm. formations and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something that comes natural to you, or are you just it's your time to step up? Well, you know, that it's it's a little bit of both. I say, um, you know, I want to coach. It's something that is a uh, passion of mine. So you know, naturally, that's kind of comes. You know, it kind of comes natural. You know, it's something I want to do. And then two, that's what's required of me. You know, playing center now, it's more of a leadership role. You know, you have to do some more things with your mind, and uh, that's that's what's required. That's what I'm going to do. You know, they they move me to center, so it's my job just to step up and make sure that guys are you know on the right track, doing the things they're supposed to do. Talk about that move inside one, uh, coming from where you were. How, mm -hmm. How's it? How's it? been so far obviously you're you're in charge of uh, yeah. calling out the offensive formations and all that and uh, having Brian behind you his leadership it helps yeah um, you know obviously it's a different position um, got a whole new list of demands requirements but uh, it's a challenge and I'm ready to accept it uh, obviously having Brian back there helps you know he's got a got a deep voice you know he's calling out things um, but that's how coach Michael and coach Roberts has built this offensive line versatile you know we got guys that can play on the inside guys that can play on the outside and vice versa you know it's, it's just about getting the, the best five out there you know Moving to center, it's been it's it's been a challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. And obviously, having guys like Brian, returning starters like uh, Jonathan Braddock, DJ Williams, having guys like that, veteran guys, it makes it a lot easier for me. Now, with all the transfers that have come in this year and all the new guys on the defensive side of the ball, the talk around town is our defense is going to be really, 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 yeah. really good. Uh -huh. What's it like going against them on a daily basis? I mean, I know you only had yeah. two shots at them, yeah. And you you talk about how they got the better end of maybe today. Mm -hmm. but what's it like going up against them? Well, they're a talented group. Um, they were good last year, and they brought in some new guys that are really going to fill in some holes. Obviously, you know, we lost a couple key guys. Uh, you know, uh, Q, we a defensive player of the year, but they're, they're, they're good. They're, that's a good side of the ball. Uh, it makes us better, and uh, it's a challenge every day in practice to step your game up. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the defense is doing, just like everybody else is. But like I said, it's, it's, got, it's a process. Take it day by day, and as they continue to get better, we'll get better with them. And I'm looking forward to it just as much as everybody else is.